hi everyone and welcome back to another channel of YouTube um, today was a really busy day and sorry my nose is knocking up for some reason and so well it wasn't really that busy it's just getting things done in so late of a day that what makes it hard on person is like you know you set to go see the doctor and the only time they can get you in is like at four o'clock in the afternoon and you're just waiting all day just to get that done and then by the time it's here it's like oh you're tired from waiting and then you gotta go there and fill out paperwork for like a half hour so yeah i'm Today, uh, it, it, I still got some more stuff that I needed to do, but I wanted to do a video of how I keep my life organized and simplified. I used to hate that word simplified so much, it would like screw me up the wall every time I heard it. But now I see as you get older, you use it. So, yeah, I love being organized. I love to, to, like, plan my day or plan what needs to get done that next day or that day and just write it down. And I'm going to show you how I've been doing it in the last... Mm, I've been doing this... I did a video on this last year. So, I just thought I'll show you my upgrade planner and my other upgrade stuff that I've been doing to keep my mind at peace to keep me occupied and to relax and get chores and stuff done when I need to without even stressing out over it and yeah it helps it helps a person out big times so I want to show you how to do a planner okay um last year I got a planner and it was a good planner it's just like a regular calendar um but I wanted something different something that I can write stuff down something that I can write more stuff down and keep it you know more organized but it was my first time doing one and I know the new ones are out by doing bullet planners but that kind of gives me more stress because you have to like write out the calendar then write everything that you're doing with that month and then write it on the side and it was just, so I got one that was already pre-made so I got this planner I got it at Big Lots because um I was really wanting one and I couldn't find that at Walmart or Kroger's or anywhere else those are really the only kind of stores I got here in my hometown. I mean, there's other ones like um, the mall, but they're so far away, and I don't want to travel that far it's just to go get a planner. And when I was there, um, at certain malls, I went in their bookstore, and I didn't see none, and so I'm like, I was really thankful that I found them and it found this one. And this one was only like two dollars, so it's really cute. It's bright purple, and it says 2018 weekly planner, and that's was what I was wanting. So, what I've been doing with my planner first, I put my name in it. And then my address, my number, and my zip code, just in case I ever lose it, and then they can find me. Um, but this is the month of January, and I'm so glad it's going by really quick. So, here's the month of January. I want to, I'm, I have highlighters, but the highlighters goes see through on these pages. I want to get some gel pens with already colors in them. But this is what I would do. I'll write it down on 
to each day. But if there is a lot more to do that day, um, sorry, the eyeballs itchy now. It's probably a great video. A girl looking at her eyeball. Alright. So, on the second page, it has every single day of the month. And it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It has like more stuff that you can write. These days were empty because I didn't have nothing to do that day. So, I was just. Do whatever I'm gonna do, just read a book or uh, eat and sleep, exercise or whatnot. So, but like over here, I had Chinese for anniversary. That was my parents' anniversary. They've been married for 39 years. Down here, I went to the mall and they did not have any calendars for planners anywhere. So, yeah. That, and then I write down like this is third for Thursday and last week I and if you do it that day you mark it off. But if you don't do it that day, you write it down for the next day or the next time you have you know the day that you're able to do it on and write it down that day. But I had do a room tour video, mark that off. Do living room, that's living room. Uh put laundry away, sleep in. See, I was able to sleep in until the latest I sleep in now is 10 o'clock. Um, the earliest I've been up is 9. Then I got ready, which I don't put that in there because everybody takes a shower every day. At least I hope everybody does. Um, But yeah, and then I'll just go through my day like that. All the way through here. Now see... We're on the very last week of January, which is, I'm happy. And I don't have it written down. So what I would do is, okay, what I would do is, I have an appointment for Monday, 29th, I think at 10.30, but I need to call and make sure again tomorrow, at Holzer. Hospital. In my hometown. And then I will put beside it the time. So, um, then also that day, I will have art class. And that is at noon. So I will have it that day as well. And then, if I have any more going on that day, I write it down. And that's what I've been doing, just writing stuff down. And it helps me to remember what I need done. And once I do it, mark it off. If not, like I said, I put it on the day that I get it for the next month they have an opening. Or if I'm not busy that day, I'll write down and do it then for that day. So I have that in this planner. Another thing that I like about this planner is it has notes where you can write stuff down like um my notes I have things that I want when I get my check um I want the Alex drawers no I don't have it I won I need a new fuzzy for a chair I want the letter A I want white or silver tray right now i'm using this one that i got from big lots i want to get another one but i might keep that one in my kitchen it has donuts on it it's really cute and i want or a gold white mirror for like to put you know 
handles in on, on my proof. So those are really good ideals that I have now. I want and or a lounge chair. One is great big fancy ones. So I have trees that I want down. And then I also have on the other side from my notes my favorite sayings. Um, one of them is which I'm debating if I should even say it because I'm trying not to cuss now, but this was used to be one of them. Bitches, I'm back. Because <laughs> that's what they or like they used to say on uh, Pretty Little Liars. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> but it's hard. I'm trying not to cuss, and so it's like I'm trying not to say that. But that used to be one of my favorite words. Now that I'm a Christian, um, I say only Jesus approval matters, and that is the truth. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes and I fall, but only his, uh, you know, he says in the life matters to me, so, but yeah, and another thing that I like about this, it says resources, like, oh, it has, uh, Another thing I've got mission these have addresses where you can write down people's names and numbers. It's blank. Um, I do have some on here, but I don't want to show you theirs. But yeah, it's blank and so yeah. That's why I show that part to you. And then there's like resources, like this is kinda neat. It shows like how much is one pint and so it's pretty cool. And that kinda helps you out. And on the back of it, it has the map of the United States. And that's really neat. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud of how America is. I'm not proud of what sin has occurred in it, but I'm proud of what she stands for and what she believes in. And I'm proud of our president, Donald Trump. So, just putting that in there. Um, another thing that I want to show you that I've been doing this year. A lot of people call these different things. Some call this a journal. I call it a diary. Because I had them when I was 13. And I would write down, like when I was younger, like, Oh, I used to think this guy is cute. Um, but today, like if I'm dating somewhere and dating someone and I went it was a special date or something, then yeah, I would like write it down. But lately I just been writing down Like, if I had a bad day or what's going on, you know, physically. Um, or I'll write down what happened that day or what made that day special to me. That's what I've been writing about. And, or if something bothers me, I would write it in here. So if you don't have a therapist or anything, I encourage you to write it down. Or even... Talk to God about your problems. He's there and he will listen to you too. And um and also write it in your journal. So I hope for this year, twenty eighteen, that you have a plan and purpose for your day go live. I mean there's nothing wrong with sitting around and doing nothing. You know, every once in a great while because we all do that. But if you want to get somewhere in life, you gotta set goals, you gotta set something. And that is why I do these. I plan and then I write it down. And no, it's not a chore. It's actually relaxing. Well, some of the chores that I write down here for me to do because I love my own is um, dishes. I hate doing dishes, but I do them anyway. Because it's just me here. So. But yeah, um, you don't have to buy a big fancy. Um, journal like that one or like everyone else's just get the one that you like write stuff down and um 
just put what's on your heart and mind each day or just every other day and you'll see how much of a big difference it does make in your life um, but yeah well I'm gonna let you go for now um, if you have not subscribed to this page please do um, the only reason why I'm doing this now is because I need a hobby. I wanted something to get into, and I am really trying to do one every Friday. Sometimes I can't do it every Friday because it's not because I'm not trying, but because the connection with the internet, um, when a place I go is slow, and the last video I did was my room tour, and it took me about two hours to do it. And so, it took me like two days to get that done, because I was like, man, it took me forever to do it in an hour. And then I went to watch some of my other YouTubers, you know, that night before I went to bed. So I waited till the next day to do it, and so I finally was able to do that. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching my room tour videos, and um, hope you got a lot of inspiration out of this. I hope it helps you. Um, but yeah, pause and subscribe. Hit the like button, the notification. Um, if I get more than 50 likes, let's make it yeah 50. Then I might start doing high notifications if you hit the little bell on by the subscribe button. And I might say hi to you in my next video. So, well, I see you all in my next video. And I hope this was some kind of inspiration to you. And I want you guys to have a good afternoon or a good evening or a good morning. And remember, be you, be confident in anything you do. Be yourself. Alright.